that's the biggest shortcut to YouTube. You know, everybody wants that trick to YouTube. What is it, bro? What's the trick? Like, that's it, right yeah. there. All right, Faded Family, I have some sad news today, you guys. Today's Mr. THC and I's last day to catch a sesh, last day to smoke in Los Angeles before my boy moves out for good. So, you know, we won't keep it lit today. I'm helping him right now with my truck. Pretty much move out all of his stuff into a storage temporarily because he doesn't know where he's going to settle down yet. But it's all good. I need you to yeah. update the people on what's going down right now. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Tired well. and sober. He's hungry, tired. We need a smoke, bro. Yeah, we need a smoke break. <laughs> I thought we were going to smoke when I saw you, bro. We went straight to moving. Sorry, bro. I was trying to get oh, away, man. All right, it's all good. But anyways, you guys, we're about to go get some tacos. I'm fucking hungry because we did a bunch of moving right now. We didn't do any pre-gaming. We did no sesh before the move. We didn't have any food before the move. My boy had me come straight over, went straight to work, but it's all good. Where we at, Mr. TAC? Tell it's him, called tell La him. Cocina. Um, the chick from the USPS, or from the storage place, I'm sorry. Yeah. She recommended it. She said it was bomb. I'm hungry. Let's, Let's get some. Get it, bro. It was dope. It was hard. Drinks fire. Woo! All right, you guys, we're finally getting back to TACs right now. I'm feeling good. I'm really tired right now. I barely got any sleep last night. This cucumber, room. cilantro, or lime drink, fucking smacks. Creepy, bro. That is how creepy. Look at this, you guys. Some green chili, some rice and beans. Whew, shit looks fire, bro. I'm gonna have to try this right now. Mm. What's this place called? La Cocina. Like the kitchen? That's basically what it means. Smack. There's a smack down. Bro, how do you feel to be leaving LA? Um, well, I'm not leaving LA in, like completely. I'm only leaving for like a couple weeks. This isn't goodbye. You tripping? <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, what the fuck? Yo, lands a little dirty. Go. Um, no, nah, like I ain't moving out of LA, yo. By the way, I'm not leaving LA for financial reasons. That's, that's what you guys are thinking, cause this is probably the biggest my bag's ever been. You know what I'm saying? I'm just making moves, man. Like. Trying different things. Also, my mom's getting surgery too, pretty soon. So, they initially wanted me to travel down there and like take care of her out there. That's nice. But yeah, shout out to my mom. Hey, shout out to Louie's mom. <laughs> That's hard, bro. It's dope though to be like at this time, be making these kind of moves and to see you doing your shit though. Cause the thing, like when you first, when I first got here, you were still kind of like. Trying to figure it out. 100%. Just to try to figure out how, how are you going to do it, how you're going to execute it. And now you're fucking 20,000 plus subscribers, you know? <laughs> Doing Appreciate it, bro. You, bro. Going fucking viral and shit. If I never met you, bro, I would have never made a YouTube channel. I just never thought I personally would have had it, like, any success in it, you know? And you did, dude. You blew that shit up. Like, you're blowing that shit up, you know? Appreciate Not many people make it even past 500 subscribers, man, so. It's dope to see you doing your shit and still going hard at it. Hey, much love, bro. <coughs> and I be telling this shit to Mark all the fucking time, bro. Like, you do this shit. Like, okay, I might give you a blueprint. I might give you some whatever. But the hard thing is fucking hitting that record button, putting it in the computer, editing it, uploading it, and watching it not get numbers and continuously doing that shit. That's mm -hmm. the fucking hard part, bro. That's hey. No matter what I tell you, like, that's 100%. the fucking battle, you know? 100%. And I'm not going to lie, you guys. There was multiple times to where Lou was telling me to post, post, post. And I was at this point to where I wanted to give up on YouTube because I was really seeing no numbers, you know? Like, I had under 1,000 subscribers. I was getting under 500 views. Like, I just thought Instagram was, like, the better platform because it was more instantaneous. But you just really got to put in the work. I saw a quote, like, the world is not yet ready. But it's like, the world is not yet ready to, um to, like, gift a bunch of undeserving people or something along those lines. But the co-concept is, like, the world isn't crazy enough, you know, to just mm -hmm. give to a bunch of people that tried a little bit. Mm -hmm. Everybody would have anything, 
Like yeah. you gotta fucking go hard. You gotta put in the work. You gotta put in the sweat, blood, and tears, dude, 100%. into whatever you're trying to do for it to come to you. That's right, bro. No, I completely agree. So what you really gotta do is whatever you're trying to achieve or, or whatever goal you're trying to get, you really just gotta bust your ass for it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you don't bust your ass for it, it's never gonna come. It might come in 20 years, but you're gonna be 40 fucking years old, and you might not even want it at that point. You know? Yeah. That's facts, dude. It's like going to the gym. I feel like the gym is the best metaphor for anything when it comes down to like business or life. It's like you just gotta go in, put in the reps, put in the time, get a mentor, you know, get a trainer. Same mm -hmm. shit like anywhere else in life, get a trainer, learn and put in the work. And you're not gonna see results right away. You know what I'm saying? Nah, hell nah. Bro, I mean, again, it's like going to the gym. I imagine you go to the gym and your trainer's yoked as fuck and you go in there at like 120 pounds. Yeah. You have a 300 pound trainer, but it's gonna take fucking time, you know? Even if he told you, eat all this, mm -hmm. lift all this, mm -hmm. you're still not gonna get that shit overnight, even if you do it perfect. Yeah, even if you do it perfect. You're not, you gotta keep fucking showing you, up. You gotta <laughs> think, that trainer, bro, he busted his ass for what he had. For that body, that was no joke. That was not light work, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, 100%. That was years in the gym. I think what a lot of people think is like, Bro, some people have these crazy genetics or this and that, and then they instantly get big overnight. And that may be the case for very rarely for some people, but for most people that are big in the gym, they put in the time, they put in the effort, you know what I'm saying? Their blood, sweat, and tears. Like, they worked for that bitch. Like, they worked for, like, a new car or something like that, you know? Yeah, like, one out of a hundred might have some crazy genes. You know, same shit. One out of whatever might be rich or might have something that you're working towards. Yeah. Whatever. Hard work beats talent. That's 100%. Hard work beats talent. Dude, I can't tell you how many YouTubers I saw that I know are more talented than me to this day. You know what I'm saying? And I still win. And I'm not saying my numbers are bigger than theirs, but I'm saying like I'm still constantly growing and improving and adapting, and it's not really a talent thing. I think it's just a matter of like work, you know? Bro, and here's where I feel like... I had a little advantage, you guys, for when I started my YouTube, and it's because I got, I got a chance to really... what to really see what like a successful YouTuber looks like and what the work ethic looks like. Before I even started, I knew like, shit, this is not gonna be a, any type of light work, bro. Like I saw you every single day, really going out there. Like I was there with you, we'd be going to the beaches, you know what I'm saying? Really putting in the Dude. time out there for you to just come back, boom, crank out another three hours in editing just to get that up, you know? For a video to not always hit and then you're out there the fucking next day, you know what I'm saying? And we'd get back tired as fuck. Tired as we'd fuck. get back exhausted out of traffic, out of like being in the sun. The sun would beat your ass up, yo. Get back mm -hmm. exhausted and just do that. But yo, he just said something crucial, man. I feel like Mark is a prodigy of like what he saw and he just like he did it. But if anything you do, like any business you're in or whatever in life, like even school, you know, if you have a badass mentor, like if you have a really good coach or somebody that helps you outside of your classes, you're gonna out like you're gonna outdo your class, you know. And I feel like that's dope that you gotta actually see that. Like I didn't get to see that when I was starting YouTube, you know, I had no idea, bro, like what it took, that kind of shit. Yeah. So I feel like if anybody can do that, that's the smartest way to do it. Mm -hmm. Like. That's the biggest shortcut to YouTube. You know, everybody wants that trick to YouTube. What is it, bro? What's the trick? Like, that's it, right yeah, there. Surround yourself with the fucking YouTubers. Like, uh, be mm -hmm. a part of it. Dude, this dude, like, he made himself useful, right? He didn't just come around and was like, hey, dude, like, well, how can I do this? How can I do this? Dude, like, would take me everywhere, bro. He would record for me, bro. He'd literally come back and pay attention to me editing. Like, he put in just as much time as I did. Even if he was just beating the hands and shit, but that was huge for me, you know? We recorded some viral videos because of that. Viral. Yeah, bro, no matter how successful you are, people are people. They they all need regular people shit. Mm -hmm. Even Jake Paul might need some somebody extra to just walk around with him and do everything he can't get to, you know? 100%, bro. But yeah, you guys, you guys heard it for, here first. And like, even if you guys don't get a chance, to go and be around the person that you aspire to be like or be around the person that who inspires you, you still gotta go out there and chase your dreams. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what what advice do you have for people that wanna connect with others? Cause you did that. And that's hard. I, I saw problems with that. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think for me bro, it's like it was it wasn't something that was easy. Like I'm not the best person like to go out and just meet a bunch of strangers. You know what I'm saying? Cause I feel like myself I'm a total introvert and I'm a very shy person. What's crazy as to say is I felt like 
God has had his plan for me. All right, I'm gonna say in front of the camera for the very first time, you guys, but what made me start my Instagram and what made me aspire to be a, a weed tuber or maybe aspire to be like a weed Instagrammer was Mr. THC. I had seen this dude come up on YouTube and it was probably around like 70,000 subscribers. And by the time he came to LA, he was around like 130,000 and he was with his boy, Matt. And so little does he know that before he came to LA, a month before I had been posting on my Instagram every single day. And I didn't catch traction until around my 10th post, you guys. And around my 10th post, I felt like I had a lot of eyes on me. I had a video get 20,000 views. And um, the person that Mr. TXC was living with at the time, Marijuana with Matt, uh, I guess I caught his attention a little bit. So I was on his radar. He invited me out one time and I felt like it was destiny that we met, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was crazy, that was, bro. That's crazy for my life to be talking about that, you know? like. And that, that he met me at like a meet and greet, which was literally guys planned out in like an hour. Like no time, you know what I'm saying? Like it was just fucking, we just planned it out. I was like, yo, I'm gonna do this meet and greet. And Matt invited you, right? Or something like that? Mm -hmm. Destiny, man. Destiny. You came to LA, bro. It's only been around like six months, eight months, you know, something like that. Seven months. Seven months. So in seven months, bro, you doubled your subscribers. More than doubled your subscribers, and you're about to hit 300k. Yeah, That's and it took insane. Me, it took me like a year to hit like a hundred and some. I was a little over 100k when I hit my year. Mm -hmm. Like slightly over 100k. Nice. But yeah, it's not bad, like 10,000 subscribers, a little less than 10,000 subscribers a month is what it would like round up to, you know? But that's from starting from zero and shit. So what advice would you give someone if you didn't have the time to go and spend it with them? What would you give the advice to the person who doesn't have the chance to work with a mentor? Yeah, uh, invest in one. Invest in one? Because there's two sense. ways to get a mentor to help you. Yeah. He's either, you're either gonna like bring value, you're either gonna ask some sort of value, or you're gonna financially pay him out. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know anybody in my little ass city <laughs> that did YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Let alone mm -hmm. somebody that's gonna let me like mob with them and, and get to see what it was like. I bought a course though. I bought a course. Yeah, that course is worth a couple thousand right now. Yeah. So when I bought that course, bro, I treated that course like my mentor. Like I mm -hmm. learned everything from that course, you know, and I would YouTube the guy that does the course because he was a YouTuber. Bro, nice. I would watch his course and then go on to YouTube and I'd watch his shit and pay attention to what he was saying on YouTube. And I just implemented it, yo. I, I followed it like um, like a school. Like I was in school, you know? Like I wrote everything down in a notebook. Mm -hmm. I recorded the video and then when I was uploading it, I went back to my notebook. And I was like, all right, my title has to be like, I have to do this, 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 and that. Boom, put, stuff, put it all together and then it blew up. Like that video got hella views. Next video got hella views and just fuck it. Well, it's dope that you didn't go in there blind. You know what I'm saying? Like, you went in there, you had a goal, and you understood what your goal and, like, how you were trying to accomplish it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, dude. That was the first time as an entrepreneur I figured out how to do anything. Because before then, as an entrepreneur, I would just, let's say, like, I had a, a clothing brand called Waxhead before that I was trying to start. And uh, I paid a mentor $1,000 to tell me how to do it. And I, well, for whatever reason, I just froze up, and I never listened to his plan. I never like ran his plan, which is probably a really good plan now that I think back to it. But um, I remember just trying to drop the clothes on myself and it didn't work. Like I sat on a bunch of clothes and shit, you know? And I was like so hard on myself, dude. Like I'm so stupid, like da 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 But from there, when I figured out about YouTube, I just kind of followed the same shit. I was like, I, gotta, I, need, I need a mentor, but I need to make sure that I'm gonna do it this time and I'm not gonna cap and not follow through with it, you know? Because I wanted to start another clothing brand, but that didn't excite me as much as YouTube. Like, just thinking about being a successful YouTuber, that made me more excited. So I was like, ooh, that's kind of what I want. And, you know, I was like, I'm going to do the clothing later. Which we did, and it sold out successfully. Gang. Hell yeah, bro. Guard them. This is GTA, bro. We're getting up on it. <laughs> dude, we pull up on his ass right now. <laughs> Get that shit. Get it, that dog. Take the bazooka <laughs> right here, dude. Well, yeah, bro. I think that wraps it up. Well, yeah, if you guys enjoyed watching this video, drop a like, drop a comment down below, subscribe to Mr. THC. <laughs> okay. We'll catch you guys soon.